Hi guys, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Um, today we're gonna finish up our plastic producing outpost. According to Helmod calculations, um, we need six. Hang on a second. How many effect sources? Okay, so we get, it looks like we get six beacons per. Well, we'll figure it out. So far, it's saying that we need six. Um, I want to put it as close to the coal as possible. Um, and let's line this up with the petroleum output and in addition to that I'm going to place a pump okay we'll just put it right there I suppose two three four five six Um, did I leave myself enough room for the beacons? Uh, I don't know. Did I? Let's see. If I offset by one, two. Yeah, that's fine. No. Well, first let me run, finish running this pipe. I'm going to need more straight pipe. I don't have to go back to the base just to get pipe. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes that happens. Okay. And we also need coal. So we will put a requester chest. What's our process time on this? One second. Uh, it's going to be fast. I'll put a. I'll put a fast assembler there. Okay, and every machine's going to get one. I'm going to put it over there just for symmetry. lights and that might be enough to power our beacons as well. I think I am going to have to go back for more beacons. so good put in our modules oh and now we need to request the coal um, I've got 200 bots here hopefully that's enough uh, and I'm not real sure we'll see um, hmm Yeah, and I wanted it close to here to pull the coal, but I also want it close to here to send the plastic. So, yeah, so maybe what I'll do is, well, first let's add in these beacons. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna move this. Let's move this over. The pl 
plastic is going to be coming out faster than the coal is going to be going in. So I think I'd rather have it closer to this. All right. In fact, I'd like it to be pretty much in the middle of that right there. That means we're going to need another RoboPort. Make it just put one on each side like this. Okay. And then I need to power it. Why is it saying that? Oh, okay. I guess I was waiting for the robo ports to charge. I was confused because it was saying that that those were out of the network. Okay. All right, and then we need to duplicate that. One, two, like so. All right, and then we just need to output to provider chests. Um, and I'm not gonna put a limit on those. I set up the requester chest to fill up um, so if these fill up, that's going to be a drop in the bucket compared to the inventory that's going to be accumulating there. So it's, I'm not too concerned about that. Okay. And then we can throw in a few more lights. And now we're making plastic quite rapidly. Okay. So this is going to be here until it's full. How long is it going to take to fill up? This is going to hold uh, 4,008. This is going to hold 16,000. That's a lot of plastic. How are we doing on petroleum? I'm, I want to see if the petroleum is keeping up with this. The coal appears, appears to be keeping up. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't even going full speed, so that's good. And these are all green or even yellow if they get backed up. Okay, so that's good. Um, so I just need to go back for more beacons. I don't need 50 this time. 10 will do. Yeah, so let's go back and refill on beacons and modules. And hopefully by then this train will be full. When it's done, it needs to go to RCU. Oh no, it needs to go to circuits. Ah, uh, actually, yeah. It needs to go to circuits plastic until empty. But to be honest, I don't recall if I have actually completely set up the unload station for plastic. Circuits, plastic, no. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so let's go back, uh, get some beacons so we can finish that. And then we'll go over and set up the unloading of the plastic into the circuit area. And then I think we'll be almost ready. Um, I think we also need to set up 
loading of red circuits. Yeah, we do. Uh, so I'll probably bring the rail up and put the red circuit loading on the other side. Maybe not. Because then robots are going to be traveling a long way. So maybe I don't want to do that. Let's see. Um, in any case, I don't need chemical plants any longer. I don't need refineries. And it looks like I've got my beacons. Wait till I get refilled on pipes. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Those are modules. No, I don't need those. I'm good. <clears throat> okay, so let's go and uh, finish setting up those beacons. And um, then we'll have a fully functioning plastic outpost. Well, it's already fully functioning, but it'll be fully functioning even more. I might need more bots. No, I guess I don't. They're doing fine. I think I'm not producing plastic fast enough to use all the bots. is going to pick up since I got more speed modules. I think I should increase the request on coal. Um, let's make that 200. And that ought to get more bots involved. Yeah, it does. Because uh, that one ends up starving. It's not getting coal fast enough. It uses it up faster than it's getting it. Um, yeah, so we'll keep an eye on that. We might need to bring in more bots. Um, looks like we need another RoboPort for charging. I'll put in two because we don't want them hanging around for too long. All right, that looks better. And um, yeah, I might want to bring in some more bots. But we'll see, it looks like the train is left already. Um, and petroleum is not draining too fast. Um, let's check our oil. Yeah, it looks like we're looks like we're Pulling up the crude oil fast enough to keep up. And we're making 7,000 a minute on plastic. And this said that we need 4,724. So we're, we're definitely um, making more plastic than we need. Now why are we making more than we need? I've got 11. I've got six beacons on each one. Okay, so that's wrong. Six. This says we need seven, actually. Eleven minus three. No, it is eight. It is eight on each one. My mistake. Okay, six. Well, that's what we've got. Okay. Um, yeah, we need a few more bots. So 
so we'll keep an eye on that. We'll come back to it and see if we need to uh, to do something different. All right, so let's go to the circuit area and set up unloading for the plastic. And then we'll need to set up loading of the red circuits. Here we are. Okay. Yeah, so here's our plastic train. Um, this could be arranged more efficiently. Let me see. put that there. Oh, let me fix this first. Get rid of all that. Get rid of that. All right. So if I leave a space of two, I can even leave a space of three. Just have to move that power pole. it enough. No. Oops. There we go. Okay, so we can put another station here. All right, so that'll be plastic unloading. This is circuits, uh, red, okay, and then this is plastic unloading. All right, so, all right, so let's set up plastic unloading. I think I have enough room here. So we want these to go into requester chests. And then the robots start going wild. I only have 250 logistics bots here. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough. Let's see if we're producing. Not fast enough. Yeah, we need more. We need more bots down here. Okay, and then let's set up. The loading station for the red circuits. In this case, we want requester chests, and those are going to load onto the train, and these are going to request red circuits in the quantity of 4,800, like that. Okay. So things are a little bit more stabilized now. Yeah, we're still starving on robots. So let me go pick up 
some logistics bots. Um, I'm gonna get another. I'm gonna get another 250. And while we're traveling, I'm gonna sit here and watch what's going on. Part of the issue is the, well, part of the issue is the fact that we don't have any green circuits. Um, why don't I have any iron? I think I might be running low on iron ore. No? Okay, where are my iron trains? They are stuck down here. Probably because that guy is out of fuel, I'm guessing. Alright, so where was that? That was at South. Alright, so let's go to South Station. Oops, here it is. And see if we can re resolve that little traffic jam. I think my supply train ran out of fuel. I do have two supply trains running now uh, because I have so many stations. Um, so maybe I should have them split up so that they can uh, refuel more often. are my supply trains. Here are my ore trains. Do I have three supply trains? Whoops. Train. Um, I guess I do have three supply trains. All right. Uh, do I have any fuel on me? No, but we can fix that pretty quick. Oh, actually there's fuel in here. Okay. Problem solved. What is that one? I think that might be my uranium train. Is it? No. What is that one? Acid, iron ore. Oh, okay. That one's going to the uranium mine. All right. Uh, where are we going now? Um, we want to go to circuits.
Some of these train rides are starting to get pretty long. I guess we got a pretty big base now. We've spread out pretty well. Okay. And now we're back. Alright. There are 250 more robots for you. Okay. And so I can see that we still have, that we're not using all the robots that are available. I'm not sure why not. Let's put a couple more roboports along the way. Okay. All right, I think we're gonna have to Increase this. Let's make this 50. Whoops. That should be copper plate. I messed up. Try increasing that circuit request to 50. Okay, yeah, see now we're using a lot more of the bots. We need to make it so that uh, they have enough red circuits to last between bot visits. There we go, that looks a, little, that looks a lot better. All right, so let's see how fast we're making plastic now. 7.3 per minute. Okay, that looks good. Now we have a loading station as well. Um, are these requesting coal and wood? Yeah, forget that. All right, so let me set up these refuel points. All right, and now we just need a train for the red circuits themselves. So I'll get one from the parking lot. And we want circuits red until full. Okay, are we making green circuits yet? No. Okay, looks like we will be soon. We finally got some iron plate coming in. Okay, and there's our red circuit train. Now this is gonna hold a lot of circuits. Uh, so it'll take a while to fill up completely. Next stop will be rocket control unit, red circuits until empty. Let's go there now. And hopefully we'll, we will be able to see this start working. This one's slow, seems slow. I'd like to start powering the trains with uh, solid fuel soon. Okay, so I'm excited. I think we're going to actually see rocket control units being made. All right. 
right. So now we're making modules and blue circuits. Did I not? I didn't put anything in the requester chest for these. There we go. All right. It's alive. This is very exciting. Awesome. And it's... Looks like it's almost running at full speed. I do see some... I do see some redness here once in a while. So they're not all running completely non-stop. Um, but we can, we can tune that a little bit with the requester chests. Seems like we have enough bots. All right, well that's cool. I'm really happy to see this working. Um, and now they've stopped because of the output, because we're only requesting 10. Yeah, okay. Well, that's to be expected, I suppose. And I did limit the outputs to one stack. Okay, uh, did I limit the outputs of these blue circuits though? No, I did not. I probably should. As well as the speed modules. We'll just limit these all to one stack each. Okay. Well, that looks good. That's uh, that's very encouraging. So blue circuits for making 420 a minute. Red circuits 2k. Yep, that's enough. Okay. So Looking good. Um, so the next step, I think next I'm going to do the rocket fuel because that's an easy one. Um, I think we may do that with coal liquefaction. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet whether I want to do it with oil or coal. Um, maybe we should do both. Um, since on our map, this oil is all being used for plastic. Um, I need a radar there. Let's see, what other oil do we have? Um, 14, so we've got about 2,500 there. Um, we've got a big supply over here and we could get some more pretty easily. So uh, coal. We do have quite a bit of coal as well. Actually, there's a lot of coal right next to the iron ore, so we could even... Hmm. Yeah, maybe we could put it... Maybe we could put it over here. 
I don't know. If we're going to use coal, I'm thinking that it might be best just to set the set the liquefaction. I mean, the liquefaction could be anywhere. Um, because eventually, you know, if I put it next to this resource patch, eventually it's going to run out and I'm going to need to bring in, bring in coal by train anyway. Um, so maybe we just start off by doing that. I don't know. I'll give it some thought and, uh, we'll get into that next time. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>